We've found five websites that can give you cash when you're broke. Stay tuned for the whole list. I'm Nicole from Low Income Relief, where we help millions of people save money and get free stuff. Today we're going to talk about five different sources of funds that you may be able to use. Some of them you may have heard of before, but several will probably be new to you. I highly recommend that you save this video to watch later because this is something you're going to want to remember. First, our assistance. If you have last minute or emergency needs, then you may be able to get help on Reddit from the subreddit assistance. In the last few days alone, assistance has been able to help people all over the place with their basic needs. I'd like to share some of their stories real quick so that you can see what this is all about. A user known as Creature of the Tea was able to get help with some items they needed to help with their disabilities. These items were designed to help improve their quality of life. They wrote, I suffer from chronic migraines, fatigue, polyneuropathy, and dystonia. All are kind of grouped into one thing called functional neurological disorder. There isn't really a cure to FND and even a lot known about it. It's very painful and debilitating at times. I need help. I have an Amazon wish list with items that could help me either with pain or just everyday tasks. I tried to keep everything cheap. Within just a few hours, users had started fulfilling this person's request for assistance. In another posted assistance, a user named Song of Storms 5460 was able to get some help with the funds for their cat's cremation. Their post said, I spent almost every penny I had on the bills, but I am just not able to afford the remaining for the euthanasia and the cremation. The thought of him just being whisked away is just complete torture to me. Again, within just a few hours, donations started rolling in from concerned users who gave what they were able to, and this user was able to almost completely fill their requested GoFundMe amount in just one day. Another user named Rip Your Lungs Dave was able to get the $25 they needed for their bipolar medication. Multiple people offered to help within just a few hours of the post being made. Again, this is on the assistance subreddit. You can get to it at reddit.com slash r slash assistance. Now assistance has some strict rules about who can make requests. You must be over 18 years old, have an active Reddit account that is at least 60 days old, and meet other requirements. You can post wish lists and GoFundMe links and other specific needs, but you can't ask for loans or video games or illegal items or anything like that. You can request funds to help pay for medication, but you cannot ask for someone to buy medication and ship it to you. You also cannot ask for a cash transfer or a cash swap, which is when someone sends you a little bit of money and then you send them a little bit of money because that's often used in counterfeiting and scams. So they don't allow that sort of an exchange either, which is probably also why they don't allow loans. In order to use this service, you will have to review all the terms and conditions on their website and in the subreddit. Just between you and me though, if you have never used Reddit before, I highly recommend that you create an account and start using it today because many subreddits have rules regarding account age and activity in order for you to make a post. So with assistance, your account has to be a certain age and have a certain amount of activity. And there are legitimate reasons for this. The people who are offering to help don't want to be scammed. They want to help real people who are in need. The best way to show that you are a real person on Reddit is to have an active account that has been using the system for a while and making comments and participating on the site. So start now so that you can request help when you need it. Second, the subreddit care. Although we are going to include some non-Reddit resources on this list, I promise we found things that are not on Reddit. I do want to mention care before we move on. This is another subreddit similar to assistance where people genuinely are just trying to help other people. It does seem to be a little bit less popular than assistance, but there are still many people there who are willing to offer help. For example, Square Secretary needed help with groceries this week. They specifically asked for a $20 Walmart gift card so that they could buy the groceries that they needed. And another user named Hiya Krabby stepped in and sent an e-gift card to help. Square Secretary wrote, gift card received. Thank you so much. I am smiling from ear to ear. I deeply appreciate your kindness. There is real kindness happening between people on these subreddits and I love to see it. 
In another post, a user named EelsauceRoll91 from Texas was able to get donations toward the mobility aids they need. Donations from user in our care helped them get 40% of the way to their fundraising goal in less than two weeks. Just like an assistance, CARE also has some user requirements. You must have an active Reddit account that is at least six months old and has at least 100 Comment Karma points. Now, if you've never used Reddit before, Comment Karma is something that you earn on Reddit when other users upvote your comments. So in order to post in the subreddit care, you will need to be active on Reddit and participate in conversations in various subreddits and get upvotes and things so that you can post your request for help. You will also need to include your state and country if you're asking for physical items or money. And again, you can find this subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash care. Third, the anti-work group on Facebook. There are a few Facebook groups that match donors to those in need, and I have a little bit of a list of them for you, but the anti-work group on Facebook has a Mutual Aid Monday post that invites users to drop their Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App handles in the comments. These posts usually get a lot of comments, and it's not entirely clear who all is getting help or how many of those requests are being filled because people don't usually reply to the comments there. Everything regarding the money transfers happens off platform, but that is an option if you're looking for assistance. There are also other Facebook groups that may be helpful as well, including Real People Helping Cash App and Cash App and PayPal Blessings. Those are two that I found where people are sending money to others who need it. However, before you make your requests in any of these groups, you will need to make sure that you understand their rules and procedures because each group is going to handle this process a little bit differently. You can usually find those rules by reading the group rules before you join or before you submit your first post. You can also find more information in the posts themselves, like in the Anti-Works um, Monday post, in the pinned announcements, or in the comments below each post. Fourth, modest needs. Modest Needs is a great place to turn for assistance, but it is not immediate. It is not something you should be using for something that you need today. Modest Needs is an organization that helps low-income people get small emergency grants for specific needs. In order to receive help, you will need to complete an application, and this process can take a little while. You'll be required to file either your most recent tax return or your most recent bank statement, and that financial information will be expected for every adult member of your household. The overall application takes 30 to 45 minutes to complete and includes various questions about your household and your specific needs and the situation that you are requesting assistance with. The more information that you give them, the more likely you are to be approved and receive assistance. However, the organization says that they will hold confidential any information that you don't want shared with potential donors. Because on the Modest Needs website, your application and some information about your situation will be available for donors to see so that they can choose which campaigns to donate to. In order to be eligible for help from Modest Needs, you need to be at least 18 years old, a resident of the United States or Canada, and you must be applying for assistance for either yourself or someone in your household. You must have at least one active bank account or a recent tax return filed in the last two years. You will need to be able to upload the required documentation, which may include your tax returns, bank statements, a lease, and other information about your financial situation. The average grant from Modest Needs is somewhere between $750 to $1,250. The organization states that completed applications are usually funded within 10 to 14 days on average after they enter the donor review period. I do not know how long it takes to get to that point. Some are funded instantly, others may take up to two months, and some may expire without being funded at all. It just depends on your unique situation and application and how many donors are on the site and what they're choosing to do with their money. Fifth, GoFundMe. I know, a lot of people have really strong feelings about GoFundMe right now, but it's still the world's most popular crowdfunding platform, so I'm still gonna mention it here, and I'm sorry if that offends you. Due to its universal brand recognition, it is a lot more trusted by donors than some of the other fundraising and crowdfunding platforms that are out there. People just seem to be more comfortable donating on GoFundMe than they are in other places. 
If you do create a GoFundMe, one of the biggest challenges is knowing where to post your fundraising link. I know getting the word out can be very difficult, especially when you don't have a lot of friends or a big community to post to. So if you are eligible to participate in some of the subreddits we discussed earlier, you may be able to drop your GoFundMe links in there. We have a list of other GoFundMe tips, tricks, and hacks in another video here on our channel. So if that's something you want to consider, please check that out. I highly recommend it. We spend a lot of time looking into what it takes to be successful on the GoFundMe platform. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more ways to save money and get free stuff.